Hello, everybody. Tracy, Mrs. J-Dog Flanagan with you here today. I'm the co-founder and senior vice president here at J-Dog Brands. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Tactical Treasures Podcast, powered by Vet TV and J-Dog. Our podcast gives veterans, male spouses, active military members, and military family members a voice in the veteran space to speak about their service, what they're doing post-service, and they share with me a tactical treasure that has helped them in their journey in their military career, business, or life. Today, I'm very excited to have with me Brianna Renner, who is a United States Marine Corps veteran where she served as a MALS 12 avionics shop 610 supervisor while deployed to Japan and was an instructor for the MALS 11 corporals course. Brianna joined the Veterans Yoga Project in 2014 as a volunteer and propelled her way through the ranks and took over the helm of Veterans Yoga Project as the CEO in 2023. During her 10 years at VYP, she managed and oversaw multiple programs, including a yoga teaching training for veterans and an online studio dedicated to yoga accessibility. Brianna has introduced yoga to veterans in partnership with organizations like Student Veterans of America, the American Legion, the VA, and Northeastern University, wherein she re recently received the Joseph H. Heflon Yellow Ribbon Award in recognition for her support to veterans in the Northeast. Brianna is a graduate student at the University of Denver pursuing her Master's of Nonprofit Management with concentration in mission-driven operations and is expected to graduate in May 2024. As a Yoga Alliance continuing education provider, she has taught over 3,000 hours of classes and workshops for organizations like the Soma Yoga Institute, the Mayfest Yoga Festival, and the California Department of Veterans Affairs Women's Division. Wow, what an incredible bio, Brianna. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, and thank you so much for your service, ma'am. Of course. Thank you so much for having me, Tracy. It's an honor. Thank yeah, you. I'm I'm excited to talk to you. Um, yeah, likewise. I, um, so your military career. So what <clears throat> what inspired you to to join the Marine Corps? Mm, so uh, it was a picture, actually. Uh, I found out much <laughs> later the Marine Corps was uh, doing this big marketing push in the mid '90s to recruit females, and uh, I <laughs> bought into it hook, line, and sinker. So there was an ad uh, in '17. I think it was '17. And it was a picture of a female Marine in dress blues. And the tagline was, you can look at models or you can be one. Uh, and oh. I was either 15 or 16 at the time. Uh, we don't have a huge military family. You know, my grandfathers were both uh, active duty and I had a few uncles that served. But um, I knew nothing about the Marine Corps, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So uh, wow. I did. I waited until I was... 17, I signed on the dotted line, and over a year later, I was in boot camp. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I thanks. love it. I know there were probably multiple aspects of your service that were maybe bad or and good. Um, is mm -hmm. there something that actually stood out to you to be especially impactful in a positive way from your service? Yeah, it was the sense of camaraderie um, that even though we all had different jobs and we all, we all had different jobs, but we were all expected to behave in the same way. And no matter what, we were all there for each other. Um, and that really has transcended through, I was in the Marine Corps from 98 to 03. So definitely a, a lifetime ago, it feels like now, but that's really carried out into my professional career is just being there for each other regardless. Sure. Yeah. What you're doing now is really exciting work. I've been uh, the you. Veterans Yoga Project. I absolutely love it. So how Thank did you. you find the Veterans Yoga Project? Mm, great question. So I, in order to answer that, I need to take a step back. So I started practicing yoga. I went to my very first class when I was home on leave. I was in my early 20s. Um, my mom took me to class and um, I spent the whole time in silent competition with everyone around me. I was a dancer before I joined the Marine Corps. So mm -hmm. I do dapple with a bit of Oh, what's the phrase? I'm a recovering perfectionist. There we go. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> so I turned this beautiful restorative practice into a competitive restorative class. Um, and it wasn't until I started having kids, we have our two daughters, 
that the practice of slowing down and allowing myself that time to just breathe and be, that became really impactful. So when my husband got out of the Marine Corps, um, I didn't realize that there were other veterans also doing yoga. Uh, I met a service dog at Kripalu, or I met a Marine with a service dog from Kripalu. I was like, oh, there's others out there doing this work. So I did a, uh, you know, thanks Google. I did a quick Google search on veterans in yoga and veterans yoga project came up and I, yeah, I went to our training and I met Dr. Libby, our founder, and that was it. I knew that, I knew that this was my dharma, right? I knew that this was the path I'm supposed to be on. So, wow. Wow. That's exciting. So, uh, so Wow. So your husband was in the Marine Corps too. So Mm -hmm. did you guys both meet while you were in the Marine Corps together? I love it. We did. Yeah. Um, I jokingly and jokingly and lovingly say the Marine Corps issued me a husband So (laughs) and him a (laughs) wife. So it worked out. Yeah. We Uh, just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Yeah. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I, I, I just celebrated my 20th anniversary. Congratulations. As well. (laughs) So, wow, it goes by fast, doesn't it? It it does, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot in common, too. When I'm not doing J-Dog, I'm a dancer as well. Oh, fabulous. What style of dance do you practice? Um, Lyrical, modern, jazz. Love it. Yeah. 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 Love it. It's so fun to move your body. Yeah, it's been, uh, I love it. It's it's my mantra. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So how, so explain to me how the Veterans Yoga Project works. Um, Mm -hmm. Are, it it looks like there's in-person classes, there's virtual classes. How, how does a veteran kind of find you guys and get plugged into the program? Sure. So we, there's a couple of different avenues that uh, a veteran can go about or a military spouse or active duty member. Um, so our classes are our mission, right? So bringing yoga to veterans and making it accessible. So thanks to COVID, right, we were able to create a virtual studio uh, that was not in our, it wasn't in our lexicon prior right. to 2020. Sure. Um, but we did open up a virtual studio uh, via an app that you can download. It's just Veteran Yoga Project. And on the app, we have at least five classes a day, every day. And they're always free. The app is free to download. All of our teachers are remarkable and wonderful, dedicated human beings who are just so passionate about sharing yoga with their uh, veteran community. Um, So that is one way. And then the other way, we do have our in-person classes. So we do teach at various vet centers and VAs across the country, as well as partnering with um, student or veteran serving organizations. They're not always VSOs, but they're veteran serving organizations. And those can be found on our website. And if there isn't a class near you, you can always reach out to us and we will see what we can do about either bringing a class to your area or connecting you with a teacher who may be able to provide services locally. Wow. Wow. That's great. So are the, the in-person classes, are they, is there a cost there for veterans? Typically no. Um, at the vet centers and VAs and most of our partnerships, the classes are, are free. They're of no charge to our veteran and military families. Depending on the location, there are some VAs where, and vet centers too, where the classes might be closed. So you have to get in touch with the, um, Every every location is so different, right? If they're not structured the same, unfortunately. But you'd have to get in touch with maybe the volunteer serving um, officer at the VA, or if it's the vet center, you can get in touch with the manager of the vet center, and they may be able to help steer you in the right direction for joining a class. Okay, great. So are these classes are they strictly for veterans and military families, um, or are can just civilians? Um, Sure. So um, for the online classes, so for our virtual studio, it's open to everyone. Um, The VA and vet center classes, they tend to be a little more restrictive with who can go. I know my class, so I teach at the White River Junction VA in Vermont, and we are part of the voluntary service department, if you will. So we're more outpatient. So we do have partners that come to class and it's so it's lovely. 
Um, in the more inpatient, like residential type settings, those tend to be purely for the veterans or active duty who are enrolled in that program. So it's going to be pretty dependent on location. But again, we're happy to help and happy to help a veteran or service member navigate that because it can be it can be tricky. It can sure. be a lot to find the answers to some of those questions. Sure. So we're happy to help. Hello, viewers and listeners. Are you a military veteran or military family member and looking to own your own business? If so, go to jdog.com and check out our two veteran-focused franchises, JDog Junk Removal and Hauling and JDog Carpet Cleaning and Floor Care. Our franchisees nationwide are always looking to hire fellow veterans and patriots. JDog is the world's largest military franchise system with hundreds of locations nationwide. We are nearly 90% veteran-owned with the goal of reducing the veteran unemployment rate to under 1%. Check us out. Go to jdog.com to learn more. Now, back to the podcast. And how long are the, the classes usually typically an hour? Yeah, between 45 minutes and an hour. Our virtual studio offers some 15-minute breathing or meditation practices, and we have hour-long practices as well. Most of our in-person sessions are about an hour long. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it's for all levels, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the whole point of our, our offerings, right, is to make it accessible. Um, right. So our teachers are really good at providing suggestions, really. I like to tell my audience, right, uh, I'm a mom, uh, so I'm used to not being listened to. So what I'm offering are just suggestions. You can take what I say or you can leave what I say. Right. Um, so throughout the class, there are varying offerings. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's really awesome. I, I, I really, uh, I really love, you know, this whole concept of veterans, uh, yoga. Do you find that it, it, it helps with, you know, some mental health issues or PTSD or. Yeah. Yeah. So great question. We were founded by a clinical psychologist. So Dr. Dan Libby is our founder and he, was doing his postdoc work at the West Haven, Connecticut VA. And he started incorporating some of the tools of what we call mindful resilience. So breath work, meditation, guided rest, gratitude, and mindful movement. Um, he started incorporating some of these practices into his practice. And what he found was one of his veterans came up to him one day and said, hey, doc, I didn't need my medication to sleep last night. I meditated instead. Wow. And yeah, so some of his early work is the really the foundation of our organization and the science behind meditation and breath work and moving the body in various ways, right? Like dancing is such a, a beautiful way for us to connect to ourselves and who we are. And yoga is no different, right? It's that very similar movement of being able to combine your breath and body in the moment. Um just as you are. And that present moment thought and awareness in someone who's navigating the signs and symptoms of post-traumatic stress, whether it be um, anger or depression or anxiety or some disassociation uh, moments, right? Like this connection to the present moment can be a really powerful tool to support post-traumatic growth. Wow. That's great. Yeah. I imagine that incorporating that whole mind body is, uh, you know, really important to, uh, to help with mental, mental health issues. My next question, what is your tactical treasure? I would love to hear what you're going to share with us today. Yeah. And I don't remember what I said initially. Um, but I do. That's believe okay. I don't yeah. know what you said initially. <laughs> I love so it. It's um, all good. <laughs> uh, I do think it was back to um, that very first picture that I saw of the Marine in uniform. Um, you can look up models or you can be one. And even though I'm sure it was thought of as a way to recruit people, right? Because it's a powerful recruitment tool. Sure. Um, there's something about that that really resonated with me. And that mentality of uh, leadership and guidance is something that's carried, really carried me through every piece of my life. It carried me through my time in the Marine Corps, 
uh, it carried me through motherhood. Uh, even though I have teenagers now, right, it's carried me through and just being that role model, just being that leader and being that person um, that I would want to look up to. So, yeah, I think you can look at models or you can be one is, is my dearest tactical treasure. I love it. That's great. Yeah. And here they here they thought they were just using it as a recruitment right. tool. But actually, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it ends yeah. up being a, all, a lot more than that. Yeah, I love it. Um, so what advice would you give to, you know, your fellow veterans um, who are transitioning, transitioning or struggling, um, you know, post service? Yeah, um, I think when I transitioned out, it was almost like a soft landing because my husband was still in. So uh, I went from being a Marine to being a Marine spouse, which was a whole nother world. Oh, yes, I'm sure. And, <laughs> I, I and, know people who have done that and that, that they say that that is the hardest because it's really hard because yeah. you already know, like you already know stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because you've served and you've been in that position. So it's almost harder. Yeah. 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 Um, and so when he was getting out, um, I warned him. I said, this is going to be a tough transition, right? You're going, he was an E6. He was um, he was a, a teacher, uh, but he was one of the lead instructors. And I said, this is going to be hard for you, right? Because you're going from this position and now you're kind of starting over. Um, and he was in for nine years, so he was in just a little bit longer than I was. So, uh, and when he got out, of course, he's like, no, 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 I'll be fine. And as time went on, he's like, oh, this is tough. I said, I know. So for anyone just starting to make that transition and in those early throws, you're not alone. Um, there are other veterans. There's more of us who have made that transition from uh, active duty <laughs> into civilian life. And there's so many opportunities, uh, so much more now, I think, than even when we got out 20 years ago now, to connect with other veterans. And, you know, maybe yoga is a path that you want to take. Maybe art is a path. Maybe there's, maybe running is a path, right? Maybe there's something else that you really enjoy. Um, I can almost guarantee that there is another veteran organization out there doing exactly what you really enjoy um, that you can be a part of and find that that group that speaks that common language. So you're not alone. Okay. Yeah, that's great yeah. advice. I love it. Before we finish up our time here, how can people find the Veteran Yoga Project, mm -hmm. get involved with the class and and just find out more information? Sure. So you can go to veteransyogaproject.org. Um, our website lists all of our opportunities. So whether it's finding a class, finding a local um, group, finding a way that you can become involved, right? Volunteering. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something about serving, right? That just never leaves. So if you're interested in volunteering, if you're interested in becoming a teacher or going through our trainings, all of that is listed on our website. Like I said, you can download our app. That our classes are always available for you. Uh, and my email, I'm happy to, I think you can find us all there. You can find all of our team members on there and you can email any one of us and we'll answer your questions and support however we can. That's great. That's great. I love it. An all-encompassing website. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, thanks for coming on and sharing about the Veterans Yoga Project. I think it's, Thank you. it's I think it's amazing what you guys are doing and what you're providing, and uh, I just love it. This was an awesome discussion. Thanks for sharing everything that you did. Thank you so much, Tracy. This was such an honor, and thank you so much for everything you do in support of our veteran and family community. I really appreciate you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank of you. Course. Yeah. Take care now. Hello, viewers and listeners. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Tactical Treasures Podcast. We've just finished up 
a, an amazing conversation with Brianna Renner, who is a United States Marine Corps veteran, and she is also the CEO of Veterans Yoga Project, which was founded in 2011, and it is a national 501c3 on a mission to support recovery and resilience among our veterans, military families, and communities. The Veteran Yoga Project envisions a future where all those affected by trauma have access to a full range of mind-body practices and programs and is committed to providing these tools and training in safer, predictable, and controlled environments. Veterans Yoga Project is an IAY team member school and NBCC approved continuing education provider and a certified yoga alliance school. Working in partnership with veterans, active duty military personnel, student veterans organizations, veterans treatment courts, and other nonprofit organizations, Veterans Yoga Project project, trained instructors and clinicians provide programs, resources, connections, and teach over 100 free yoga classes each week. To learn more about Veterans Yoga Project, go to veteransyogaproject.org. Again, thanks for joining us, and you can find Tactical Treasures Podcast on all your favorite podcast streaming platforms, as well as Vet TV. We are now airing on Reese Across America Radio on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, and if you miss that, please join us for the Encore on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can also find Reese Across America Radio on the iHeartRadio app, the Odyssey app, and the TuneIn app. Again, Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon on another podcast. Bye-bye now.